Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, Mia. Hopefully that's us live now. Happy Sunday. I apologise for any coughs and snuffles. It's apparently autumn now, so I'm just recovering from a cold. So, yeah, sorry if I sound revolting. But I know, for some reason, you strange, wonderful people, this is your favourite video of the month. The what does a lazy eatsy seller make? So we'll be going into that. Um... I also want to give you a quick update on a cool thing that E-Rank's done and yeah if you want let me know what you've been up to this week and if you want to see what my a couple of my fuzzies that I've just finished up if you want to see what I've been making let us know in the chat below but below at the side is it that side that side in the chat yeah professional youtuber here ah uh, but for now let's pop into the chat and say hello to everyone so we have the lovely Lena in the chat. Hello there. And Salon Sonic. Hi. Um, these were our early, early birds popping in before the stream even started. And Marsha's mixed medium. Media. <laughs> Good morning, Pam from Orlando. Always look forward to Sunday mornings. Thank you so much. And Denise. Hello, peeps. <laughs> And Lily Tree. Hello, good to see you, Lily. Excuse me if I'm drooling. I'm actually. Today's live stream is brought to you by Strepsils to keep me. Are we not getting enough fuss, Mia? Is that the problem? Right. So. Let's think. Yeah. If you want to see what I've been create, what I've been creating, let me know. I can't let you know all of it because there's some super secret little projects that I'm working on videos for. If you follow me on social media you know what I'm talking about. Um, totally lost my train of thought. Thought this is a great start. <laughs> oh boy. Yep yeah, so um, so there's that. Uh, yeah let's let's start up having oh yeah before that's what I was gonna say before we dive into it as well if you let me know how you think I'm going to have done, how my Eatsy stats are going to be in for the month of September, bearing in mind, I think it's the past three months in a row I've been down a little bit and not freaking out at all. But how did September do? But let's have a look at what I'm talking about on E-Rank. Um, where did I put this screen? Righty ho, let's pop over to here. For those of you who have an E-Rank Pro account, you have access to this. But if you don't, I'm just giving you a sneaky peek for fun. So in the Trend Buzz section, as I say, this is a pro. Oh, before I get started, of course. Although I also work for E-Rank, my videos are not sponsored or endorsed by E-Rank. The opinions in these videos are my own. But I do get to share awesome tips and tricks, tricks and features and find out what's going on, hopefully before most people. So in the trend buzz section of E-Rank, which is a pro feature, it is a paid feature, most of the data are on here. The, there's been a couple of extra categories bunged in for just now, and that is Christmas and Halloween. And the wee... The wee elves over at E-Rank do a great job because Etsy doesn't actually give them the data for what categories something's in. So they have to categorise everything manually, so I think it's pretty awesome. Now, I'm gonna gonna give you a sneak peek. Gotta have a wee look at Halloween. I'm I'm in a Halloween-y mood if you haven't noticed my attire. It's not too soon, is it? So I'll give you a quick sneak peek, not all of this, but just a quick sneak peek. And so we have Halloween and Eatsy. So these are the top keywords with the graphs. And this explains it so well for people who don't get what the graphs are. It's 15 months, I believe. I might be July, August. Yeah, about 15 months of a graph showing you how popular a search term these things were. So you can see the number one, obviously, searched term for Halloween is Hall for Halloween things on Etsy is Halloween. And you can see really how the search volume st starts kind of low, builds up in September and October, as one would expect, and then dies away to nothing through the rest of the year, and then it's starting picking up again. And then we have all the other things so interesting right we'll just do the top 14 I won't do the rest so 
Next thing that is super searched for, Halloween decor. Stained glass. Now that's a cool idea if you make stained glass. And that looks like that's just a brand new thing that's come in. There hasn't been... People haven't been searching for it before. Love the idea of Halloween stained glass. Halloween SVGs. Halloween costume women, obviously. I've been searching out my costumes for this year as well. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, Halloween earrings, Halloween shirt, wreath costume, vintage Halloween. That's cool. Oh, I'm going to search that myself. Halloween tea, Halloween raggedy and doll, Disney Halloween SVG. And this is a thing. This is what people search for. It's not necessarily things you can make products for. And Halloween shirt woman. So that's, I think that was kind of cool. Back to, back to me for a minute. But if you're an E-Rank user, you can check out that feature. I think they did a great job. Great fun. Right, back into the chat for a minute. Uh, Marsha saying yes to seeing what I'm up to. Delia, good morning. DPS, hi there. Transformation Healing by Duana, good morning. And Veronica made it today. Okay, so what have I been making for this week? Actually, a few, a few are up in the in the photography area. But these haven't been, what do you think? These haven't been photographed yet. Um, we have this little dotty dog, which I think is turned out pretty good. Um, she had these massive ears, which were so much fun. It's not a Dalmatian, um, but a whole lot of dots. And, 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 this little guy that I've not, I've, it's got a friend to go with them so i've not shown that to the owner yet but i just love it takes forever but i love that it's a crazy floofy wee dog so i hope i got the crazy floofy wee ears yet right um but there we go long-haired dogs Do you know it's a super weird thing but when i started up i could not make long-haired animals i hated it i avoid it like the plague and now i seem to get more long-haired than anything else so Whatever you're not good at, practice, because it might be the most important thing. Um, doo -doo -doo. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Lena. <laughs> Wonder what yours will be for Halloween. Last year, yours was fab. fab. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not sure if I'm going to record my makeup. I haven't even decided what my makeup's going to be this this year. I might. It was kind of fun to do that. I might do that. Um, Angela, good morning from Long Island. Hello there. Uh, Abby, hey Pam, off topic but wondered what you thought of auto renew on Etsy. Does it harm your listings if not switched on? Uh, no, I don't believe it harms your listings. I don't have auto renew on. Um, and just the reason for that is sometimes if an item doesn't sell, I like it to just drop out, you know, if I forgot about it and then I can go and look and go, okay, so that one's not been selling. I want to go in and change it before I renew it. There is, <clears throat> now I've not seen any articles about this. I just heard this a very long time ago that if Etsy was going to feature an item, um, they don't like to this is what I heard this is more speculation I can't remember where I heard it <laughs> attention seeking um so if each seat are going to feature an item like well they don't, there isn't a front page so much anymore but in a mail out or anything they prefer it not to just be a one-off because if they feature it then it they want it to be able to sell and relist so either if I found all my items that were featured in the past were always things that had multiples and sold and renewed numerous times so that's more a kind of conspiracy theory than a real world world answer but yeah i don't i don't see any harm mine are off at the minute just because i like to be able to check if something's done the four months without getting a sale i like to check why so that way reminds me but yeah <laughs> like most of my answers i'm not really sure oh ben's got fur up his nose or something he's coughing something up my my dogs have cat fur balls i swear 
Uh, Lena, the, the dogs is brilliant. Thank you so much, Angela. Adorable. Oh, thank you. Uh, Abby, happy Sunday to you too. You're most welcome. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about this, guys. I thought should I stream because I'm a bit disgusting. Um, <laughs> but then I figured this. How much money does a lazy eatsy seller make? A series is the ones that you guys seem to love the most. I get the most comments about if it's missed, so we have to do that. So, guys, get in the comments. Do you think this month in my that last month? Do you think September in my eatsy store was up? Was it down? We'll we'll look at what happened with the advertising as well, because I know that's such a big important subject for all of you, but. How much money did I make in September? Roll in your, your thoughts and answers just now and I will get to setting up the right page for that. Um, and every time I press one thing I lose 20 other things. Um, <clears throat> Uh, G Morgan, uh, good morning. It is here anyway. Skywolf, I, I saw you use makeup in one of your videos. Can you use eyeshadow? I'm using it at the moment. Um, oh, on. <laughs> like, I'm thinking of, because I'm still thinking of what Lena asked about doing Halloween makeup. You can, on your sculptures, you can use makeup. Um, I tend to use soft artists' pastels. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, Salon Sonic, how would you love to more how to try and get featured? Yeah, absolutely. I did a whole video on this. I've not experimented with it for a while, but in the past, whenever I experimented, I did manage to get myself featured, <laughs> which I was super lucky with. And it really helped me in the days when I was when I was struggling and the thing to think of is get the, the featured the things that go into the mail outs and everything are curated by people so people have to be able to find you and there's a few things what one big thing have a look at like the quarterly results when they're talking about what's going to be up and coming in the next months you know their trend reports I'll have to find find them again but they do big trend reports saying what colors what themes what kind of things are going to be trending and it's not only a prediction but that's where they draw their inspiration for the kind of things that are going to be in the mail out the kind of items so consider consider what they're saying to what you're making I believe Christmas they were talking about Nordic themes, um, northern lights, polar bears, all this kind of stuff. So I think if you <coughs> if you were working on, you know, like Nordic jumpers or can you do northern lights style artwork, anything like that, that's what they'll be looking for. Um also make sure your images are as beautiful as they can be. It's always been my best pictures that have done done well. Um, so make sure as best images as you can possibly get. Etsy a few weeks ago did mail out how to get seen on their social media and they were talking specifically about Instagram and what they said um, was actually quite interesting. They said you don't want cluttered backgrounds. You, they're not generally looking for mock-ups of things or lots of other things in the background. But if you have more than one item, what's a popular photograph just now? Something I used to do in the past is put a few of your other items behind with the main one in the foreground and the other items blurred out. That kind of does well on social media. So if they're saying that, I think they're going to be looking for those kind of images as well. Um, and the final thing, the thing that I did, the thing that works, the, the super secret, right, don't tell anyone this, but as I say, it's a person looking. So if you've got all the right ducks lined up, if you've got all the right things that it's going to be cool, to get spotted, go where the Etsy people are and at the time, 
So I say I've not tested this in about three years. At the time it was on the forums. <coughs> post regularly on the forums. I spe look, start just now. Post, post positive. I don't mean blow smoke up of Eatsy's backside. But post nice things, post positive threads, post helpful replies to people. Just take 10 minutes out of your day. Me as bum. Yeah. Take 10 Ow, she's standing on my leg and cutting it off the circulation. Take 10 minutes out of your day. Help a few people. Be friendly. Be polite. Be positive. And the Eatsy staff who are looking for these things, I... I've not heard it said anywhere, but my experience, it has always been the case. When I've been super active in the forums, my items have been featured. So there, that's <laughs> that's my super secret. I did make a whole video on it, but that was ages ago. But yeah, th there's no guarantee if your items aren't a fit for what they're looking for, but it gets you noticed more. <sighs> off my leg now thank you um <laughs> uh, paper crane wishes hello there with rainbows and hearts and butterflies <laughs> um excuse me <coughs> anita i think you made ten thousand dollars Ten million dollars, come on. <laughs> Ten thousand in a month, I would die. <laughs> Do you want to come up, Ben? Do you want to come up? Come on, Ben. Ben's the oh no, he's, he's chickened out. Ben doesn't come up like this very often. He's special and wants to lie at my feet. Uh, <laughs> uh, Skywolf, you're most welcome. DPS, you think it was down, maybe? Uh, Skywolf, my dog's breaking the law, it's too cute. <laughs> Uh, DPS, yeah, down because of the ad platform. That's cool. I'll definitely try and remember and show you some of the ad results as well. Um, Anita, the photo is the first thing a person sees. Mine have to vary. Some clutter, some not. Yeah, practice and see. Like, that's just what Eatsy's telling us. They were finding working... Oh, Mitchy. They were finding working on social media, um, like Instagram, I think. And what people are responding to as beautiful pictures, that'll be kind of similar, but oh. but you've got to experiment and see what works. That's across the average. My dogs are super distracting me today, so sorry. Uh, Pearl and Button, hello from Ireland. Hello there. Right, right, right. Enough messing about. Let's have a look at my stack back to the screen so my stats for last month the 1st to the 30th of September my views and as you can see I, th I think this is super cool to see excuse me <coughs> from the beginning of September till the end has been a definite climb and this is not me doing anything this is potentially ads I'll show you this is potentially ads but this is also just the number of shoppers is increasing and I have actually been getting um Christmas orders people wanting for things for the Christmas so yeah people are coming in already so get your items listed just now but over the month, the total number of views has gone up 16% year on year, which I think is awesome because I've got so many fewer listings. And the visits is 48% up year on year. So that kind of makes sense that the visits are way up. That's people coming in, finding my shop for a thing. That That's like one, that's like 2,277 different people. But the views of these, 48% more, but the views are not 48% more. And that's just because there's less listings to find when they're clicking around in there. That I have less listings. But the listings I've got are bringing people in and they're still clicking around and doing good. So I'm happy with that. And for the month, I had 14 orders at... 512 pounds so i'm just gonna tease you one more time i'm just gonna check chat quickly one more time and then we will see how that compares um g morgan staying positive in the forums can be difficult 
as Eatsy ridded of the bullies, I've stuck a few teams just because the forums were horrible. Oh, I, I'm going to jump. That's that is an awesome question. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, that is something I totally should have mentioned. Is don't get dragged down into the negative forums, and I totally agree. I I struggled sometimes with the keeping positive because what you would find, someone would post a thread saying, "Are your sales down?" 2,000 people will comment on it going, yes, Etsy's dying, this is terrible. That's why I make some videos saying that, because people like to sit in an echo chamber and go, yes, something must be wrong, this is terrible, this is awesome. And I was sitting there in the forums going, me with my little shop, I'm doing awesome. So I would make a thread saying, how's everyone in sales doing? Mine are doing great kind of thing, without trying to brag, but just... Okay, if we can share the bad, can we share the good? And I would get so many posts, so many replies going, well, that's not helpful to the people who are struggling. What are you bragging for? And I, was like, I, I just felt excited. <laughs> Stop picking on me. So it can be a little bit, but you just, when you post anywhere, when you're putting yourself out there, you just sort of have to have a thick skin and a good friend of mine kind of really really helped me with with all things on social media is don't give these people oxygen don't give these people attention just ignore them and then talk to the people that are given the decent answers but don't let people hurt your happy it's really not fair so yeah i totally agree that the forums can be a pain Thankfully, I've not seen the bullies so much, but what you can do, stay off of the threads that you don't want to be on. Post, I, I did for one year, which was super fun. Um, I did a tip every day, just a quick tip of things that I'd learned. I thought, I'm fed up with this negative. Let's do something proactive. Here's a tip every day. And that's sort of some of the things why I thought to get into the YouTube channel eventually. Um, and they did really well. <coughs> It was actually so lovely. I had some people coming back every day going, yeah, I was waiting for your tip. And I'm like, that's so cool because I'm nothing special. Um, so that gave me tons of confidence. So yeah, post your own things. You'll find the decent people. Don't, don't let the negative people. I know it's absolutely rubbish when everything dies, when your shop seems to not be doing well, but sitting around just going, in this echo chamber going, is it terrible for you? It's terrible for me. Eatsy must have done something wrong. Instead of everyone coming out and saying, well, you know, yeah, things might be down sometimes, things might be up sometimes, and when they're up, I'm too busy to be in the forums all the time. So it doesn't mean something bad's happened. One shop does well, another shop does badly. And this shop that's doing well, they think they deserve it and they don't bother commenting on how awesome everything is. They think that's all their own work. And this person down here, they think it's nothing to do with them. They think it's all Eatsy's fault. And the truth's more likely somewhere in between. If you're doing great, Eatsy's helped you a bit as well. <laughs> and there's a whole lot of luck. And if you're doing rubbish, you might not be. It just might be that the boost you had has gone away. It wasn't yours. Somebody else is getting boosted. Anyway, that's that's my thought there. Um, oh, chat's gone fast again. Uh, Haley's house. Hello there. <coughs> G Morgan. Since Yom Kippur, Yom, I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not me pronouncing things badly. It's my throat doesn't work today. Yom Kippur <laughs> begins Tuesday. My shop will be very quiet for another few weeks. Christmas is quiet for you too. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. I'd, everybody's shops do differently, I guess. DPS, thank you. The Junking Data Girl. Hello, I love that name. Junk and Data, all in one. <laughs> Wally, hello there. Lily, exactly. Don't feed the trolls. <laughs> TPS negative Nellies out there. There's a ton of them. And do you know, you only have so much energy to use in a day. And it sounds all like I am totally not into all that positive spiritual things. That's not me. 
But yeah, if you sit around being negative about stuff, it's hard to get out of bed. It's hard to be motivated. If you're going to work on your Etsy shop and you're going to make it work, you kind of have to believe that it's going to work. If you sit going, I can't do it. Etsy's going to hold me back. Look, if, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I am... Um, I'm going to let you guys know that this year through, it's really, it's through Etsy because through Etsy made me start my YouTube channel, through Etsy made me find E-Rank, <laughs> through Etsy has opened up all this experience. So this year I'm looking set to have doubled my income on last year. Not just, see it's not just the sales that I'm going to show you in a minute, but I, I hope you know, that can take some kind of inspiration because I am as ordinary as they come. I have no expect I have no experience in marketing. I have no experience in kind of anything. <laughs> um well you never let the trolls rain on your parade. Yep. <laughs> DPS I just ask a question and get info from the an answers some give great advice yeah absolutely and that's that's another thing in the forums there are helpful people there there are th there's nothing as well there's you don't have to be the person giving the advice asking sensible questions not omg my shop's died but i have found it super helpful um when i was building up and making more breeds of dogs a question that people loved was just simply what's your favorite breed of dog Hundreds of people answer things like that, and that gave me a super long list. I'd never heard of Silken Windhounds before, and a Silken Windhound listing was one of my most popular. I just looked, I thought, wow, that's cool, and I made them. You can ask, what do people think should be my first image? What, what picture do you like best? Don't think on it and getting people to go and look at your shop. That's a terrible way to get views. But genuinely ask questions. And yeah, asking questions is just as good. We're all allowed to not know everything. <coughs> uh, Frank the Tank, good morning. Uh, Junking Data Girl, first time here. Awesome, I thought I didn't recognise your name. That's cool. And Siri, hello there. Sally McKenzie, hello. Um, Diana, first time. Hello for the first time from Scotland. I'm Scotland too. I'm just outside Glasgow <laughs> watching you while you work on your Etsy orders that's awesome cool I I love hearing that people are having Etsy orders I'm certainly having a great time just now scary time I'm getting some good orders in just now uh Jalissa sometimes I take a break and come back on Etsy it can be frustrating absolutely if you're finding that if you're finding it's getting you down yeah step away take take what you need Hayley's house, you had a real result with someone big on Instagram contacting me about a product. That is so awesome! Congratulations! And I have to learn about Instagram more. I, I have Instagram and it's brought me some great results from other people, but I'm not really great about it. But yeah, that is fantastic. That's so cool. Uh, Jalissa, yeah, I agree. That's amazing. Um... Oh, Anita, yes, the axolots. Ax axolots. Yeah, I'm super excited about that too and nervous. Uh, Denise, you're not far from the Kelpies. Cool, I went out to see the Kelpies a while ago. They're pretty impressive. Um, I was The only thing I was disappointed when I went to see... For everyone who doesn't know, the Ke there's, in central Scotland, there's some... Excuse me. <coughs> the the canals the the locks not locks the locks for taking boats up and down the canals they've got a bit crafty with them and they ha they created the Falkirk wheel which I'd been out to see and this is a fairground ride for canal boats basically it's if if you're a geek if you're a mechanical geek it's so awesome to see you've got like one one canal runs up here and the other one's down here and you've got this big ferris wheel in between and the boat goes into the ferris wheel at the top and one comes in at the bottom and the wheel i think it goes yeah sideways the wheel rotates and so the bot the 
boat at the bottom goes to the top and the boat at the top goes to the bottom and they just float off their separate ways. It's awesome. And when I first heard the Kelpies are these massive metal sculptures of horses because it's a Scottish kind of folklore mythological beast that we have these Kelpies that are it's kind of scary and creepy and everything I'll do something about that later but they're like water horses they're half horse half fish kind of thing awesome so it's the heads of the horses but when I'd first heard about it the, these kelpies were supposed to be moving as well so one would rear up and let the water in but they're still still so <laughs> they're just awesome very large horse head sculptures search for um Scotland kelpies very beautiful but they don't move i wanted them to move um sally how much stock before you open a shop um right i am currently in the middle of a series on well I've just begun a series on how to open an etsy shop because i'm just making my own etsy shop but see i haven't written this video yet so i just know the ideas that are in my head but for how much stock not too much more importantly have an idea of a few keywords that you want to hit and have a few series of things that you're going to build it like five or six items depends how long it takes to make an item but have a few so that you're gonna when you launch your shop be able to release maybe say say three different items on the first day and then one or two a day for the next week or so and while you're doing that you're still making more looking at your results from your first week and deciding what else to make so don't have a massive backlog of stock but it depends how quickly if you can make two to three a week maybe have four or five ready and space them out a bit slower one every other day or something if you can make three or four a day do a week's worth of work before you start up but the most important thing is to get started people can have a successful shop that have only put up one list in it's very rare it's better to have more listings but get started um Haley's house you're most welcome and dps a uh, great idea to ask questions like that about the breeds liked can be anything question love it yeah no problem <coughs> it gets you people like talking about themselves if you like here everybody tell me where you live <laughs> and it's more likely people will put in the comments where they live what's their favorite dog what's what color do they like what season do they like people like something easy to answer about themselves but it's like also research for you so it's cool uh chris uh you're terrible with instagram as with any kind of social media got one sale out of it awesome yeah but you're not that terrible the thing is it's not super easy to get sales out of social media um until you get to a certain size you have to build up get people interested get people engaged what i found right people are going to totally this this is against what everyone else says but don't push for the money i i right, as i said i'm opening i'm in the middle of opening up another shop so i can document it and one of the things i was doing which i'll be talking about in two weeks time this is really weird that i have i'm doing things and then scripting and writing videos so i'm a little bit ahead of myself but um one of the things i was doing was just practicing what i'm doing and was posting up on my facebook page and i've got no expectation of money i wasn't thinking of money and then people are messaging me going wow can you do that for me how much and it's like cool so it's better on social media it's better to build up and get engaged people rather than be trying to build up to get sales sales are, if you make awesome stuff people people will ask you how to buy it people will try and try and give you money actually it's making me remember um a time many years ago i used to help mum sometimes when she did craftware for her craftware oh hiccups excuse me 
when she did craft shows for her knitwear. That's where I was going with that. And sometimes you would go to a craft show and it would be so quiet and it would be hard work and you were really having to sell. You know, you'd have to hold a mirror up and go, oh, that, yeah, that, that, that lifeless brown colour really brings out the colour in your eyes or some, sorry, mum. Um, but you would have to be really trying to sell things a bit. And then there was other craft shows where literally, I, I remember it was pretty much like people were pulling things off and just like handing you money. And that's if you don't push for sales, if you just make awesome stuff, when you hit on the awesome stuff, people will be thrusting money into your hand. <laughs> um, but it's not easy, but that that's a way, a way at it. Um, Anita, cool. Um, Marsha's, you're awesome and give such positive advice and useful things. Oh, you're most welcome. Look, staying positive is the only way to be. I could go into a rabbit hole of being negative. I've been there at 2010 when Itzy made massive changes to the search engine. I got depressed about it. You know, I got fed up. I got. I want to give up. I complained to everyone. And my shop stayed rubbish for ages. But as soon as I was positive, I was like, look, I've got to try this. If I don't give this a fair go, a good square effort at it, then, you know, it's just going to bumble along forever. So I'll give it a go. I'll be positive. I'll learn what to do. And if it doesn't work, I'll quit. But I'm not going to waste all that energy and immediately stuff got good so yeah <laughs> well if Wally wants to ride the ferris wheel it is so cool <laughs> it is um Haley's house you can indeed share between Facebook and Instagram they are <coughs> they um Facebook owns Instagram so that is a lot of the time you don't you build up on one platform you don't share between platforms but facebook and instagram is a, a different kettle of fish they they like each other because they both make facebook money i think it's facebook and instagram they're the same thing anyway um at Haley's house people like to buy into the person also absolutely um and you'll find that if that's that's why I say a lot of the time, you know, put yourself out there a bit. I was just, you know, thinking about that with the, the makers, the people I get the needle felted stuff from. And when I go on, if you're not on their Facebook page, go on their Facebook page. But the women who run it are there. Their faces are, on the, are there. They have gone on Crate and Craft on the tally to show you things. They pop up bits about their life, about their process, in their little newsletters they give out, um, on their social media. You know about them. So that's, you know, that makes it personal. There's other companies that are probably not a whole lot bigger than them, but they're so corporate. And it's like, do I want to buy wool from the people I know that are going to pick it out? They know my name. They're going to wrap it up in in purple tissue paper because they know I like purple or do I want to go to this faceless company that I have no idea who runs it and it was the same with Glass Eyes Online when I first bought from them I thought they were just a company they're just a company like any other company and then I've got to know them and it's a husband and wife team they're wonderful people they're so friendly and supportive they have a community you know so if I have to pick who I'm going to buy it from, a company or a person, the person all the time. Um, Marsha, you were ready to give up a few months ago, just left them, then all of a sudden I got an order, you had four. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. And yet, d nobody give up until you've had a couple of Christmas seasons. Um, Although, of course, we've seen some things don't work for Christmas. Well, a couple of what should be the busy seasons for you. Uh, because they can surprise you. And, yeah, it's about to get kind of busy for quite a lot of us. 
Uh, Anita, you make the habit of advertising at least 15 minutes a day every month to get I try to get some kind of new way to advertise. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. Oh, here it comes again. Uh, Marsha, so much positivity after finding your chat. You guys want to see? Send positivity out and positivity comes right back at you. <laughs> you have 20 ads, had three sales this week. Awesome. Great job. <clears throat> Ashley, I came here from Facebook because you advertise yourself today. I did indeed, and that's 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 my naughty is um I was making a video on this but I got sidetracked. But yeah, if all my Facebook posts are just advertising to say come to my live stream, come off of Facebook onto YouTube, if all my posts are like this, then Facebook does like me a little bit less. It shows me out to less people. I know this. But at the same time, this is a different thing because a live is... I, I like to have you guys here and I know people do like that notification. So this is a different thing. Um, I will say, if you guys... This is not. This is genuinely not for me. If you like the notifications on my Facebook pages when I'm going to go live, can you just pop a like on them when they come up? Because the more you engage in it, the more Facebook will show it and won't just bury it. I am just trying to give notifications about the live coming out. Yep, that is a different thing. But you're quite right. It's it, it's not the best thing, and I try and add in other things to engage with people more. I'm not as good at it because I've got sidetracked with other projects again. I keep doing... I, I, I'm just like a kitten. It's like focus for... Oh, butterfly! <laughs> um, a DPS, has anyone sold on Instagram? No, I haven't. I got... When I had the big influencer posted about my stuff in February, I got a lot of sales from Instagram, but I sent them all to my Etsy shop. I won't lie, I uh, I know, I, I know my failings, I know I'm very unorganised, and if I had like two or three busy platforms, I would forget what I should be working on. So I need to have them all in one place so I can go, I'm working on that one, then I'm working on that one. Um, I, I know there's other ways I could do it, but I'm just not organised enough. Hi uh, Julie, hi there. I'm a complete newbie, but having such fun. That's awesome. You didn't realise Etsy was going to be so interesting. Uh, definitely the little grey cells are getting a workout. Thanks for the tips and advice. Oh, that! thank you so much for sharing that. I love that attitude. A lot of people, that's why a lot of shops don't even have one sale because people join in and go it's so much work oh that's too much work I don't want to do it so attitude is perfect it's like this is fun I'm having to learn and do you know as soon as I started thinking of it yeah, as almost like a kind of game I've got to do better at I'm not going I want to post a listing and make some sales like I want to find a better keyword I want to beat my personal best for views I want to beat my how I did before if you think more like that the sales follow on don't don't focus on the sales and that's from me this is something I'm going to share at some point about how utterly Skinto was I completely understand that we need money but if all your focus is on money it probably won't come to you that well your focus should be on making awesome stuff, learning how to do better, and the money comes eventually. Um. <coughs> Melanie, loving the live stream, looking forward to the new series and setting up your digital art stuff. I agree, you ex exude so much positivity. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'm wavering between excited and nervous about the digital art shop. Uh, one thing I am learning that this is like I say I'm writing the videos while I'm doing the stuff so the videos follow behind kind of thing but one thing that's being super interesting is already I don't think the shop is going to be what I thought it was going to be people are asking for different things which is super cool I mean I could 
blindly struggle on and say, no, I decided this what was what my shop was going to be. And it's still going to be digital art, but it might not be what I thought it was. <laughs> so I don't want to be too sneaky with this, but I don't want to give everything away immediately. Especially because it could change. <laughs> Uh, Wally, business things are hard, but with time you'll learn. Yep. Uh, just try and retry. It's the same for everyone. The super successful people have lots of fails in the past. You worked in a bank before, so you know. Yeah, you are so true. I did a video on this. <laughs> but, like, oh, I can't remember the exact numbers, but the Dyson guy, he had a ridiculous amount of failed prototypes before he invented his Dyson. JK Rowling was turned down by tons of publishers before the last one finally agreed to Harry Potter. You know, yeah, failure. If, if you've not failed yet, then you're doing awesome. Um, uh, Ashley, next year Facebook Live. You love the Facebook page. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking about Facebook Live. The thing was, I was focusing my energy on growing in one place. Um, so the YouTube's kind of, YouTube channel's kind of going good. Uh, so I could do some Facebook Lives. What kind of thing would people want as a Facebook Live? Um, we could do some felting together or stuff. So, because there's more private groups. Yeah, I, I'll think about it. Get, let me know what you guys think as well. Hey, Lise, you can share your post between Insta and Facebook. No need to work on both. A yes and no. You can, but anywhere, like social media, the, the, the ticks the tricks in the name is that it's social so if you my eyeballs are itchy now so if you post on Facebook and share it to Instagram but you're only communicating with your community on Facebook then Instagram people are going to get bored if someone comments on your post they want to hear back from you and I know I've been sorry everyone who's commented on everything the past week I've been ill <laughs> and I haven't been as good at getting back but also what people like on Instagram is a little bit different than what they like on Facebook as well so sometimes you have to tailor post slightly differently people might like a slightly different style of photograph or a different style of post but yes you can it's easier between Facebook and Instagram. <coughs> a woman center, would you please take a few minutes to advise on how I can improve? I'm not doing shop reviews at the minute. I haven't done them for quite a while. So thank you for the, the heads up. Um, if you have any specific, sp more, more specific, but more open about everything type questions feel free to ask them but I really can't do an entire shop review at the minute um uh, Marsha what's the Facebook page I have the page I'm getting muddled up between pages and groups the page is Ben McFuzzy Lugs at the minute I might have another one in the offing soon <laughs> uh, Ellis peesh <laughs> Lily Tree Instagram you've got Instagram and page Facebook, you publish to both separately. I know you do. Um, uh, hashtags look strange on Facebook, but I use the social media management platform to make it easy. Awesome. Yeah, that very good point. I see a lot of posts on Facebook with all the hashtags and it looks, I don't know, it looks weird and attention seeking, whereas it's necessary on Instagram. I think it's because a lot of people aren't posting on Instagram but see others with a hashtag and think, and I, I know Facebook, you can search for hashtags, but people don't seem to get what hashtags are and put the most random weird things. Um, Lena, you think live felting on Facebook will draw a lot of attention? I'd, I have to give it a go. That's true. I don't get a chance to do as much felting that could be a nice thing just of an evening when i'm i've got a project that i'm doing i could just pop onto 
Facebook Live. That's cool. Uh, Marsha, <laughs> Haley's house. Yeah, you have to put a little work in for sure. That's it. Um, Cisco, hello from New York City. Thanks for all you've done. I found the videos extremely helpful, especially the information on ads promotions. You're most welcome. I'm glad I can help. Still bumbling around learning that one myself. <laughs> yep. Uh, DPS, questions about Facebook. When you join a private group like yours, can the people in the group see my family photos, etc.? And uh, no, when you join a group, um, your your Facebook profile is they can only they can see what you have set to to public. So if your posts on Facebook next to them, they'll have a little thing that'll either be little grey sort of heads, which says it's only for your family if you've shared anything that's to be shared globally it's got a little gray um glow <laughs> glow a little gray earth on it so if someone looks they'll be able to see any posts that are like global but the, that would be the same anybody sees you anywhere for instance if you have a friend and you comment on one of their posts their friends can obviously see that you've commented they could click to go to your page but they'll only see the specific things that you've shared with everybody so no they won't be able to see they certainly won't be able to see your family photos if you keep everything locked down to just your friends and people in a group no they can't they can't see that uh, Haley's, you'd love to hear about Facebook ads. Do you know where to start? Facebook ads is another ball game entirely. Um, I don't know enough about that. All I know, it's pretty awesome in that you can really target the people you want to see your ads. However, I've got some social media experts that I really believe their advice and what they've said is that Facebook ads can kill your organic growth so if you had a post that was doing well and you know not just not just your followers were seeing it but their friends were seeing it and people were sharing it and people were loving it they've said if you do an advert for the time the adverts running sure that's doing well but as soon as you switch it off all the views from the advert but also all those lovely organic views that you had they're gone so they're not advising doing it so that's that's all I've heard <coughs> I know certainly I've used the Facebook ads when Facebook offer them for free sometimes and they did nothing uh, uh, a pearl and button I'm Ben McFuzzy Lugs on Etsy uh, Ashley, you can change the privacy of Facebook posts all at the same time, past and present. You can indeed. Uh, Ellis, should I close my shop and start again? I left my shop idle for near two years. I've picked back up, but I don't seem to get many views and no sales here in the UK. Um, all I can say is that my shop dwindled to practically nothing for about four years and I was able to raise the dead. I was able to bring it back to life. Um, what my feelings is, yeah, a new shop can get a kind of slight boost for a short while as Etsy tries to figure you out. But an older, more established shop, Google trusts it a little bit more, so it can be a little bit easier to get noticed by Google. So my feelings is, a new shop you might get a boost for about a month but your old shop if you start posting regularly and being interested in in it all the people that liked you before you might show up on their feed and they'd be like oh wow i totally forgot about that shop um other people might have shared you somewhere years ago so links will suddenly stop being dead if that makes sense uh, DPS, you wanted to join the E rank page and yours as well. You're you're most welcome. Yeah, you're pretty pretty safe in in groups, um, as as safe as anything. Um, but yeah, I don't fear being in groups. Uh, Alice, your Facebook stage is 
stuck in business manager and I can't get the shop section to appear public. Oh, that's a pain. Um, I am very much not an expert on Facebook pages. It seems different every time I create a new one. Uh, Chris, hello from Swansea. Right, right, right. You wonderful people distracted me for a bit there. Um, what, let's jump back. I teased you all with with how my sales were going to how they, they had done for the month. So let's let's hit that button. So compared to this time last year, how did we do? And we seen people have said it could be up, people have said it could be down, and what are we? Drum roll. And we are up. Ever so slightly, but we are up. <laughs> um so that is 40% more orders, but only 3% more revenue. Excuse me. <coughs> and the reason for that was last September, I had a couple of like really big orders. And that can be the thing. I don't worry about my stats this deeply, this small level. Excuse me. I don't say, oh no, my stats today are down on what they were the same day last year. Because I don't get sales every single day for most of the year. And I can't really cope with that because it, it can take two, three, four days to create a sculpture sometimes. So I can have a day where one customer or two customers buys a big load of stuff and that'll make that day look super high. But if the next day I don't get that, that doesn't mean that things have dropped. It just means that first day was a lucky day. But I'm super happy that September is my first above above what it was last year in about four months. So that's pretty cool. And I still, I'm gonna, gonna show you this anyway. For this year, I'm still doing blooming awesome. So I'm not complaining too much. So this year compared to last year, I made 31% more money already. So that's pretty cool. And you can see, as I said, where were we? June, July and August and September. No, yeah, June, July, August, I was slightly behind what I was that last year. This year, th this month, I'm up and but I'm I'm up for the year, so that's good enough for me. Uh, last month, um, <clears throat> what a excuse me. <coughs> so I want to show you the advertising, um, because again that's kind of interesting. So twenty seven percent of my views for last month came from the adverts, which isn't to be sneezed at. Don't talk about sneezing, but <laughs> isn't to be sniffed at. And if we have a look, you can see out now this I've, as I said in my last live stream, I've changed up what I'm doing with the ads for reasons. But for last month, you can see how the ads Eatsy was thinking and learning and it started doing better. My ads, my results from ads grew as well. Um, so yeah, it's not as horrific as all that. Let's, let's while we're here, go into the ads and I can show you. Uh, oh, I can even pick up last month. Awesome. So the reason I went into doing some chopping and changing and tra changes is my return on investment was looking a bit rubbish. Okay, so the ad clicks were going up, but I spent $65.00 and I got around 180 back. So that's a little bit low. So I want to improve that. So I've, fo I've switched off quite a lot of my, my ads and that's dropped quite a bit, but overall not too horrific. Um, do I, ah, let's show you some more stats while we're here. I know you're here for the numbers, you wonderful geeks you are. Um, so yeah, the search terms again, <coughs> Ben McFuzzy Lugs is being super highly searched as my top term again, which is really cool. And it's hitting on Google. So th this is cool because this is the brand. This is working. Samoid, I'm super happy to see this. One thing I've said I want to be working on more 
is getting more results from Google and Samoid is coming up well in the Google search and there's reasons for this. Um, I'll, that listing will come up in a minute, I'll show you. Uh, felted dogs again coming up on Google, little bit of search from Etsy. Needle felted dog, I'm getting in some good results from, from Google so I'm super happy with all of that. And if we look, um, external search, I'm getting double in from external search than I'm getting from Etsy search now. Fantastic. I know I think other Etsy pages, I could have some, yeah, in the app, so I could have some results from there as well. But yeah, I'm happy that it's doing that. Let's pop over to the listings. Oh, I thought the sat thought me Samoid would show up here but we'll get back to it. So my most visited listings are yet again it's often this black cat bookmark and it's a terrible title I know that's the problem a lot of these listings are terrible but this one's pulling in a lot of visits from Pinterest still nothing to do with me other people are pinning it and then these guys are top what I wanted yeah what I wanted to show you the reason I'm pulling in views from Google for this super broad term of Samoid is firstly the picture is a customer picture it's an awesome picture it's actually Yeti from Yeti's place on YouTube um, but the picture is an awesome picture but my title is very focused it doesn't have many other words than Samoid so Samoid Samoid um, so that's doing quite well in Google. So I just wanted to share that with you. Right, shall we go back to my ugly mug, check the chat, and then I think we're nearly done. Um, where did I get to with the chat? Um, Chris from Swansea, yep. DPS talking to Ashley, fantastic. Uh, G Morgan, you have a uh, Instagram promotion running on one item. It's been shown to around 1,500 so far. Very targeted niche with about 725 going to my shop. That is fantastic click through rate. You're getting more than 50% of people it's shown to clicking through. So that is a fantastic targeted advert. I'm super super stoked to hear that. I might have to look at Instagram promotions. Deb, hello there, our other E-rank angel. <laughs> um, I Thank you, I'm feeling so much brighter today. Thank you so much. Um, Alice, <laughs> my hair is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, DPS, you take care. Katie, I will some someday remember that DPS is Katie. People keep reminding me. But you have a great week. Thank you for stopping by. Delia, D Dila, is it Dila? Sorry. <laughs> uh, you must be good luck for me. The last 30 days have been so slow. Only two average, only two orders when I average 12. But when you've been on today, I got two more orders. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> Spread the word. Tell everyone you've got to watch me on YouTube when <laughs> you get sales. <laughs> no, congratulations. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Nicole, hello from Wisconsin. Uh, Cisco, do you add your brand name as a tag on your item listings? I do. There's a reason. I there's a reason for it in that some of my items are historic and I was doing that but also after the Instagram thing and I told people um you know people were going where can I find you and the person had, ta had said it's Ben McFuzzy Lugs um so I added it and why I did that rather than if you leave it off people will just find your shop I wanted to tag I wanted to tag my brand name tag my shop name onto the listings that I wanted people to find, my highest conversion listings. So when they clicked, they saw something awesome, hopefully. <laughs> uh, that was that was my cunning plan and it seemed to do well. Uh, G Morgan, yeah, congratulations on sales doing a podcast. Uh, do they call that passive income? Love it. <laughs> That's cool. It sounds good, yeah, you're chilling out and ka-ching. <coughs> 
right guys i'm gonna disappear and take more medicine <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me it's been really cool and yeah you guys keep me on my toes with great questions so you have a fantastic week uh keep your eye out hopefully my next hopefully my video should be dropping wednesday i'll see if i've got a good enough voice to record um but hopefully hopefully that'll be out keep an eye out for that i think you're gonna like this one i've been enjoying it when i've been scripting it um oh lily <laughs> see it now increase your sales with pam's lucky live stream <laughs> brilliant okay guys i'm gonna leave it thank you thank you so much have an awesome week and i'll catch you next